Hi, my name is Nusha Finaz and I'm going to present about what is kaya. So the original word of kaya is not kaya but kaja. And the size of kaya is slim and small body which is typically used by limited number of people, often a single person at a time. It is also called a canoe. It is considered to be a sport equipment by many. As a major use of the particular bird, it generally is in sport and aquatic races. Various kinds of kaya are available in the market and the design is different with their usage. The major kind of kaya are soft play, fishing, leisure, and tour kaya, often termed as ocean kaya. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joan Manuel Lude. So now that we know what is a kaya, let's take a look at what is a dragon boat. Firstly, the dragon boat is a watercraft that is shaped and decorated as a Chinese dragon and the road by people to celebrate the dragon boat festival. It is long and narrow with a flat bottom and really brow and stern. Typically around 20 meters or about 65 feet and weighs about 1 to 2 tons. The prow is made of a single block of teak wood and carved as a dragon head. The stern is like the dragon's tail while the body is painted with dragon scales. Finally, the dragon prow is normally painted red and assembled to the body only before the dragon boat race begins. Now that we know what is a dragon boat, let's take a look at the dragon boat's origins. Now, there are many versions of the story of how the dragon boat came to be, but the most common one that we all know that is known and widely spread is related to a famous poet and politician Chu Yuan in the Warring States period. In 278 BC, on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month, Chu Yuan, whose political views were not adopted, tried to drown himself in the Meadwar River. People were deeply moved by him, so they rode boats to save him, but failed. Since then, the dragon boat race has become a full activity to commemorate Chu Yuan. Continuing from that, in the 1970s, dragon boat rowing gradually evolved from a folk custom to a professional water sport. In 1976, the Hong Kong Dragon Boat Invitational Race was held. Since then, the dragon boat race became a modern sports event and spread to more than 30 countries around the world. In 1980, the dragon boat race was listed into the state's sports competition programs of China. That is it for me. I'll pass it to Diana for the components of the dragon boat. Thank you. Hi, my name is Diana. I'll be presenting about the components of the dragon boat. First of all, the total members in the boat depends on the boat size. The boat size can vary 10, 20, or 50 paddlers in one boat. So there are three components in the boat, as you can see in this diagram here the drummer, paddler, and stir. Let's look at the paddler first. The paddler is 20 members facing towards the boat. The drummer here is one member facing towards the paddlers. And stir, one member at the rear or at the back of the boat. The boat, it is made of carbon fiber, fiberglass, and other lightweight materials. For competition, dragon boats are decorated with Chinese dragon head and tails. It is a canoe sport. The equipment is a dragon boat, paddle, and drum. Prototype is a traditional boat, paddle, as you can see in this diagram. The drama, as you can see in this diagram, drama is located here. Is considered as the heartbeat of the dragon boat. It leads the team using a rhythmic drum beat to indicate the frequency and synchronization for all paddlers. It also issues commands such as hand signals and voice calls. In competitions, drummers must physically beat the drum, otherwise, they will be disqualified. In a normal event, the drummers can choose whether to beat or not to beat the drum. Paddlers, as you can see here, there they are. They are the team that face the towards the direction of the moving of the boat. The first pair of the paddlers, as you can see here, they are called the paces, strokers, or timers. They sync to the synchronization and paddling for all the teams. There are three different, three different types of strokes, which is the forward stroke, backward, and draw stroke. Here, as you can see in this picture, there they are. They set the direction of the boat while racing. They stand in in the back of the boat. They are also known as the steerer, steer person, sweep or helm. They use a steering oar that is nine feet in length and they place the steering oar in the new shape or lock as like this. They use commands to direct the paddlers such as paddle up, take it away, hold the boat and let it ride. These commands are very helpful to indicate the paddlers while paddling. Hi, my name is Ainuddin Iman bin Abdul Wahid. I'm going to talk about dragon boat competitions. In any competitions, there must be these four things, which is gender classes, age classes, boat classes, and race distance. In gender classes, there are three categories 
of gender classes, which is first women's classes, all the crewmates must be all females. The second one is open class, which is there is no restriction on crew composition. And the last one is mixed class. For the mixed class, the standard boat, a minimum of eight and a maximum of 10 for each gender. But for the small boat, the minimum is four and the maximum is six. And this is the age classes. As we know, age classes have three categories, which is junior class A, B, and C, premier class, and senior class A, B, and C. As we can take a look at the screen, the junior class A must be under 18, but at least 12. Junior class B must be under 16, but at least 12. And the junior class C must be under 14, but at least 12. And for the premier class, there is no age restrictions. We move to the senior class. Senior class A must be over the age of 39 or 40 plus class. And senior B, or known as Grand Dragons, must be over the age of 49 and 50 plus class. And the last one is senior C, or Great Grand Dragons, which is must be more than over the age of 59 or 60 plus class. As we can see at the screen now, this is the design of the standard boat and the small boat in boat classes category. The standard boat have more longer body than the small boat because the standard boat can have 20 rowers, one drummer and one steerer. However, the small boat just can have 10 rowers, one drummer and one steerer. This is the last category, which is race distance. In the race distance, we have four type of distance, which is 200 or 250 meter, 500 meters, 1000 meters, and 2000 meters. In any competition, the distance of the competition have been decided by the competition's organizer. So this is the list of competition. First, I'm going to show you the local competition or the competition that runs in Malaysia. We have Johor International Dragon Boat Regatta 2019. The second one, we have Penang International Dragon Boat Festival 2019. And the last one, Sarawak International Dragon Boat Regatta 2019. And this is the list of international competition. First, we have the 17 Padang International Dragon Boat Festival, China Dragon Boat Festival 2019, and the last one we have 2019 European Dragon Boat and Club Championship. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Izati and I am going to explain further about the safety of the boat. So, as you seen on the screen, we have four important things for the safetyness and the first one here is the safety box. Okay, so uh, the safety box will be able to hail verbally or on marine VHF radio on any craft that might enter the race area. The second one is the first aid. The first aid will be needed in certain main areas and is very essential. And it is in terms of the first aid kit or maybe ambulance. And the next one is for the crews, they will need to be under the supervision of the BDA trained helms or also known as steerer who will be the boat captain whenever they're on the board and also each crew will nominate uh, has a nominated crew manager and last but not least we're gonna have the rescue boats the rescue boats may act as a finish or the start line boats as long as their ability to attend problems isn't compromised that's all from me so what have we learned today First of all, we learned that kaya is actually an umbrella term which covers a variety of boat which includes but not limited to sit on kaya and sit in kaya. Number two, we also learned that dragon boat most likely to originate from the ancient folk of ritual contending the villages and that there are many versions about the dragon boat that exist today. However, the most popular and widely spread is related to the Qi Yan, which is the famous poet and politician back in ancient China.
We also learned that Dragon Boat crew members consist of several people having specific tasks such as paddlers and drummers. Last but not least, we also learned that the competitions are usually divided between gender, age group, work classes and race distance in order to, to ensure that the competition are fair to all participants. With that being said, I would like to end our presentation for today. Thank you.